Good afternoon all. As you can see I've got this up on the bench. And uh, Biggles who gave it to me said it doesn't work, you can't get no sound out of it. Well uh, I've got my speaker connected up here. Working fine to me. So, if we can actually service these tape decks and clean them up and get them working, I'll um, probably keep this and won't bother with a tape deck. I'll just go sit this in the bedroom. It's got graphic equalizer along here to play with. Look at that! An output level. I'm going to keep. <laughs> don't want to get flagged up for copyright, so. Okay, so is there like a. Um. Tune a CD for our tape. Well, I have an issue there. I'm going to have to play with this, but I'm going to use one of these tapes that I ain't going to, you know, give two shits about. But I do need to turn this around. Or I'll use a torch, I think that might be the easiest option. Just to clean up in there. Can't see anything. Where's the flashlight? Did have one over here somewhere, but no telling if it's still here. Oh, sort of my leg wet. Right. Here we go. I'll do. If I can't get the tape deck to function right, then I will just find another one. Uh. <laughs> oh, that one's even worse. I think my easiest option for that is to take it apart and get in there and uh, clean all that. But the question is, can I get it to play long enough to see if it's actually worth my while? So I don't want to go through all that palaver of... I've got to grab a handful of these. I don't want to go through all that palaver of cleaning all this up just for it to, you know, be in complete pointless effort. One head clean. I do with some rubbing alcohol, that's what I can do with. Turn it back on. Have I got a really shitty tape? Rewinding ish. Hmm. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to shut the camera off for a bit. Uh, so I'm not hearing, I'm hearing hiss, but not. 
nothing on at home. That could just be a blank tape for all I know. <laughs> oh my god, that's completely muffled. One's working. One side's working fine. Yeah, I suppose it is worth dismantling it, isn't it? Because if, if I can get that whole tape deck out as a whole, that will um, make life easier. You can't really clean it where it is. So, it's going to be my task. So, I'm going to open this up, and when I've got it open, I'll put the camera back on. Yeah, the tape deck's fucked. No, neither want to uh, play ball, so this is a defunct piece of equipment. Let's make sure I have unplugged it before I take the fuse out of here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and rip this thing apart. Some of these seem to be plugs, some of them aren't. Here we go. Right down there is obviously the control board for the tape deck. This one on the back here is for all the radio and control doickies up here. And that is the audio amplifier. And it sounds like it's raining. Again. Alright, well, as I'm not planning to um, repair this, it's going to be turned into a teardown. May keep this amplifier board. Which is why I'm leaving some length of wire on it. Right. Leave you up there just for a moment. Yeah, it's pissing it down again. Heard from one of the neighbours that this is what was forecast. Now, let me get this support rod out of the way. Um, see if I can get this amplifier board out. While well, I've still got the camera on, and uh, I may even see if I can get this back panel off as well. Now I do actually love the sound of the rain. It's just a shame we get so much of it over there. Nice, um, well, I say nice. There's a um, nice little desk with two drawers in it, been left at the end of the block. Which is tempting, I have to admit, it is tempting, but 
just for the drawers. But uh, I've got nowhere to put it. I've got all the screws out, so what I've got to do is just remove those clips, and here we go. Some big ass heat sinks on there. So, I would have to figure out what was audio input and what was power input for that. Might be able to tell from tracing it, tracing the contacts. Right. I'm just going to get this backboard off and, uh... Now we're getting somewhere. I'll just chop straight through the power cable. Right. That's on its own separate thing, so... Nope, I that one pulled off. Get this out of the way. Like so. For the, um... FM antenna, it's just one of these, and uh, it's literally a female to male adapter for this. It just uh, goes on like that. And that's screwed to the outer panel, so I'm definitely going to keep hold of that. That would be handy just for the socket, so I can keep hold of that. Right. Got quite a few things in <laughs> Not sure if I've got desold or anything, but uh, right. So I'm presuming this is the main board. Possibly. I don't know. It's got the power input down here. Two more fuses up here. Three more fuses up here. Heck. That one's got a black mark on it. I don't know if that one's going to be any good. Okay. Let's explain why it's got this plastic bit over it then. So, this is mains in, mains of lower voltage out. Can't see a bridge rectifier. Is it this? Oh, I'm going to have to get this board out to have a closer, ow, closer look. No, I didn't get a shock, that was just something sharp poked me right on the finger. I'm going to disconnect as many cables as possible. Got no intentions of putting them back in, so I'm done that. And, uh. What is it, guys? I didn't need to cut them for the audio amp because they're there. We unplugged from the main board. Oh well. I want that back board, right. I want to get this board out first. I then basically work my way back. So there's that. And there. Hmm. I think a lot of this is old school uh, through hole. No surface mount on this, not that I can see at the moment. Ground wire here. It's going up to the circuit here. What is this? That's going to be an interesting. Oh, it's for the volume knob. Yeah. It's coming off of that. Right. Well, ah, I knew there was one up this end somewhere, I just couldn't find it. I was just thinking, well, there's got to be one there somewhere. <laughs> I wouldn't just leave that out. One hiding in there. Ooh, it looks like there's two inputs. Right. There we 
go. One more wire to one caught up and one to unplug. There we go. Yay! That's going to be the box for the FM signal. Possibly the AM signal as well, as the AM antenna is down here. It might do both, actually. Oh, I see that cut out in the board lines up with that little vent. Right. It's a bit. It's a bit of fluff. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling that's the bridge rectifier. I can't see nothing else on there to indicate a bridge rectifier, so I am going to presume it is. Right. I think I might go around this with some soldering on. That looks like it might be worth Tycon caps. Never heard of Tycon. You see lots of transistors. There's an IC there. That's through hull as well. See what I mean? There's uh, some bodged things on the bottom here and a bodge wire. Something they forgot to do during manufacture or had to add. Right. Hmm, that's going to be my next port of call, so let me get that next board off. Okay, here's the front panel board. And the lovely little uh, buttons along the top here for saving your radio stations. Uh, not sure what that one, I can't remember what that one does. That's your on-off. There's your infrared, the remote control. Power LED, I think. LED display with what looks like some LED lights in the top there. So there's a few bits I want to take off of that as well. And I've got this. The output level meters. I'll take the LEDs off of those. Perhaps a couple of other bits as well. So we're getting there. I'm just going to take this downstairs and put it in the bin. <coughs> right. All the buttons are falling out. I'm going to take those out before they go everywhere. Try and get this off. I'll definitely have Mr. Big Pot here if I can get it off. Soldering the wires to the button, they've put it all on a little circuit board for some reason. I don't know if I just made assembling it a bit easier in here. No, so I just have to screw in a circuit board and that is it. No, I think this is the headphone jack. Yep. One big headphone jack. Right. 
unplug, 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 unplug. Is that going to unplug? No, it's not. Right. Holding this fucking thing on, still holding it on. Ah, can't see it. I always get that one hidden screw. Quite a little uh, unique way to do that. Get some push buttons on there. I'll harvest the LEDs off of here. I like my LEDs, so I unclip the. Yeah, I think with a bit of wiggling, that plastic shield around it will come off. That was the last of the circuit boards. we've got left is the transformer and the tape deck. Ooh. You keep hold of this. Well, I stopped throwing the screwdriver around, that is. There we go. Got a bit of camera. With a belt on it to drive it. This is what I would have had to have done to get the tape deck, to get the tape deck out to service it. And the other hidden screws as well. Just hold my more hidden screws. No, I think it's just the buttons at the front holding that. everywhere. Yeah, 
force. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then it'll drop back. Yay! One manky tape deck to take apart later. Trailer full of tires. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to call it it for this video. We've taken that apart, so. It's a shame because the radio worked fine on it. I did get audio out, even though I was told the audio didn't work. But uh, yeah, it does. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. A bit more interesting. Get my soldering iron heated up again and uh, desolder a few bits and pieces. Hmm. So, I'll um, talk to you again soon.